all right today's finally the all right, today is finally the day that we get some my GM info for WWE 2K22. We're gonna be watching the ringside report number two, where they're gonna be talking about my GM mode and all the things that it's gonna have with it. I'm guessing. Obviously, GM mode was a thing back in, in the SVR days. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was really, really young. I didn't play it. I was like, what, like seven years old? All I cared about was just mashing buttons. I saw all these numbers. I was like, what? What is this? Let me just mash buttons and slam people. Okay, that's all I cared about. Now with my adult big brain. I want to try it and now we're gonna learn about it. It literally starts in uh, 60 seconds. So let's go and watch it. All right, let's go put on these headphones. Maybe put on my glasses too. I don't know. Uh, nah. Hey, we're here again. All right, so in one of our previous announcements, we ever so briefly called out the new MyGM mode where you take on the role yes. of the WWE. Yes, we're going to make some videos on this, so y'all better subscribe, you know? I'm really excited to try out MyGM mode because like I said earlier, the last time MyGM was a WWE game, I was so young, I didn't understand it. And now that I can understand it, I feel like I'm going to enjoy it a lot because I enjoyed playing like the GM modes in NBA 2K a little bit. I, well, I was more of a park player, but that's besides the point. So you can play as um, Adam Pierce, Sonya Deville, Stephanie McMahon, Shane McMahon, or a custom GM. You can play as Raw, Smash. Smackdown, NXT, or NXT UK. Where's Teddy Long at? Distance. He's got an instigator card. If you play that, then all of your. <laughs> all of Fame instigator. Uh, I know there's a lot that goes into booking a balanced roster, and so can you talk more? But we're gonna be roster? booking hella fantasy oh, shows. Oh, we're putting TLC oh, matches, Hell in the Cell matches. Oh, hold on. Um, obviously, you can you can draft whoever you want. Um, make your dream roster. And speaking of dream roster, um, players they can upload their own custom draft pool that include created superstars too. So. I mean, yeah, let's say, can you put creative wrestlers in there? I mean, you should be able to. Sign legends. Yo, can I sign The Rock? Bro, well, set up Roman versus The Rock immediately. So you can only set up three matches for regular shows. High school gym, road crew. Oh my god, guarantees. Oh, there's so much. Oh my god, there's a lot of this, so I feel like once once we're, they're done, I want to go back and look at it a little bit. Yeah, see, I, I tend to be, you know, the guy who just follows the rules, but I know, Alan, you 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 always play like the villain type of GM. Oh yeah, can you be like a, can you be like an actual, like a babyface GM or a heel GM? Make a faction, be the authority? That would be pretty cool. Oh wow. That looks great. Chris, I want you to talk about what this means for the player experience. Obviously, you can you can play your matches. No, um, keep you really bro. Like, sure oh my god, that's yeah. how all the if that's how all the entrances look. That looks amazing. This is cool. I got this is gonna be really good for make for making videos. So I'm I'm looking at this. This is gonna be my first year making 2K videos. So I gotta study this stuff. Oh my god, they got the pandemic. Wait, what is that? A mime? There there there's a lot to it, huh? Basically, show quality D. Can you do online my GM mode? Figure out a way to do some local, some remote play via Steam remote play type of thing. So you can play a little bit of online play that way. So basically okay. your goal is to, so on your courses you're going through there, you're trying to build up money, unlock new arenas, get new logistics, get better crew, all that type of stuff. Make your show bigger and bigger, make more wow, money. Wow, there's a lot to this. There's a lot to this. I need to go back and review this for sure. So can you make your own show or are you like stuck to just upgrading to Raw and SmackDown? You can actually make your own show rematches or triple h will be saying you're doing this kind of poorly and those are ways of getting tips as well like triple can i talk to vince walter i mean gunther i mean whatever is it possible to go bankrupt by the way can you like literally run out of money and have to go out of business so i got one final question so you're pulling up my gm for the first time which gm are you picking what brand are you running and who's your first draft pick well, I got you. I'm making my own GM, for starters. Number two, I'm running SmackDown. Actually, no, Raw needs some help. And I'm picking Roman Reigns. <laughs> we need him. So that was not as much as I was expecting. So I want to go back and actually talk about some of the things that they mentioned. First, I want to look at this list. We got all of these people. So this is Stamina, Class, Roll. So I'm guessing Babyface, Heal. Pop, so Popularity. Okay, so how many people can you even draft? So what classes we got? We got Specialist, Bruiser, Fighter, Bruiser. I'm guessing we got Giant, Specialist. Yeah, there was a Giant right there. I saw Giant. Off rip, this gives you a bunch of people that are confirmed for the roster. Like King Nakamura. I mean, that's outdated, but whatever. Kushida, Mustafa Ali, oh no. Kaylee Ray, De Dexter Loomis, Keith. Keith Lee. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna have so many release people. So it says as a rule break, as a rule breaker, Giant Tamina would pair particularly well against Social Bank's a fan favorite cruiser. Oh, so it tells you like 
all they said it gives you tips on matches on matchups that would be really good good synergies i'm guessing i'm guessing how much of, i want to know how much of a boost these synergies actually give you so it says you will start out with a budget of tw uh, two million seven hundred fifty thousand gms will take turns drafting one after another there'll be eight rounds of drafting after the eighth round drafting becomes optional gms can opt out or draw blah, blah. gms can press the r3 button to get recommend okay so this is this is the interesting part that really got me so we got manage roster sign free agents sign legends this is cool is there you telling me i can sign the rock for mania sign stone cold or something that would be cool i wonder how much they cost that's the real question oh it seems like rivalries have certain levels to them like super hot not hot starting out i'm guessing save match finn balor we got so it, it looks like we got three matches we got an opener match a mid card match and a main event i wish there was more matches i wish you could book more matches but we don't know so you get three match slots with two promo slots for a raw that seems kind of small road crew high school gym so you, you can get upgrades to just to certain arenas okay lighting power cards training health spa fixed match so i'm guessing you can rig a match health spa injury rehab have birth of legends free arena booking instigate there is so you get you can customize like your abilities i'm guessing so it, it kind of works a little bit like um like nba 2k my gm where it's like you know you talk to your players you get them their morales up you make sure they're all okay you have abilities as a gm you got certain goals to hit by your boss basically and yeah i i feel like that's what they're going for but it looks pretty cool so far. And you can sign Rowdy Roddy Piper. So you can sign even past the way legends. That's that's weird. Rest in peace to the legend. So I wonder how far back you can sign people then. And then you got this mime over here for some reason. So he's like enha enhancement talent. Angel Dawkins has, t has talent for DLC matches. And then Promise, Walter, or Gunther now. An exclusive title rematch against Rey Mysterio. So you can so you basically are gonna be exactly like NBA 2K's my GM mode, where you like promise people like starting being in the starting lineup, or you promise them that you're gonna put give them more minutes. So in here you're gonna promise them title matches or rematches or whatever. I have been about losing my championship last week as a former champion and acting my rematch clause. I want to win the championship rules against Mysterio. Oh yeah, that's your, you can do promises. It is very similar to 2K's my my GM mode. So we got Becky Lynch. Popularity 62, stamina 90, popularity 63. Is it, damn, Oscar is more popular than Becky. That's hard to believe. All right, that's pretty much it for my GM mode. It looks pretty good. It was, it, it has a lot of stuff to it, but I do have a couple things that are still up in the air. First of all, there, I heard there's like 12 weeks, 52 weeks seasons. Like once is it, once this is done, is it like done? Like you have to reset, or do you just carry on to the next season? Um, does it go on forever, or does it have like a limit? Like that 52 weeks is just that's it. I also have. I also wonder if you can create your own show. You can only be the GM of Raw, SmackDown, NXT, NXT UK. Or I want to make like a custom show. Whether I'm sure people are gonna want to do like New Japan, AEW, G GCW, whatever. I'm get. I want to know if you can create your own show. Or is that just universe mode, or or can you do that in my GM as well? If you make a custom GM, can you assign abilities to them, or are you just can you level up that GM, or or is it just stuck with a with a really bad perk or whatever? Well, that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about the my GM mode? wda 2 k 22 i thought it looks pretty good let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video all right peace